Hi guys, so as promised earlier, I was gonna go over the um, tonic, I was trying to see if I should call it Verso Dice, the Winter Wonderland Small Gift Box. So they have, I believe in this lineup, it came out last year, last the December maybe or so, um, three different uh, boxes. This one came in the mystery bag, I think the one that was labeled 214, Wednesday 214? 210, 214, I don't remember. Um, but a lot of you guys got the same uh, kit, or the same one, so basically the same mystery bag. So people, I had a lot of requests to do the uh, small gift box. So if there are any links in the description box, there will be affiliate links, which means I will make a small commission if, I per if you purchase any items through those links. Um, and so thank you guys. And again, I'm not sure if this is available or how they do their mystery boxes sometimes, or mystery bags, they put things in there that they don't carry online anymore, but sometimes they do put things in there that they still have online, so um, you can check that out. But let me pop this open. You know what, am I doing this wrong? Oh, somebody had asked why this they have like pink or different colors, and I was like, oh, that's a good question. I do not know. So this is the part of the Verso lineup. Um, I know some of the other things have like green, outlines i'm not sure sorry both my kids are down here downstairs they didn't want to go up to the room and i said that's fine as long as it's nice and quiet but then i started hearing little music in the background there <laughs> all right um let's see here well and you know what's funny i said both of my kids i have three kids somebody had said they're like oh i thought you only had two i have two little ones but my oldest one will be 20 next month so i don't know i usually don't include him with those numbers because he does his own thing and why can't i get this thing out <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Do I need to bring the whole thing out? Usually it's just this one piece and it comes out real easily. I'm gonna pull the whole thing out. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you know why? Because usually it has this other carry on the front and then you can pull this out by itself, but it was stuck down here. Okay. I'm gonna remove that because it's gonna bother me later, but we'll put that to the side. So, we have the little box. You're gonna cut out two of this, obviously. Whenever you see something like this, you either cut out two, three, four, whatever it is, but I'm, I'm assuming two of it. Um, and then it has tons of extra dyes you can dress that up with, or, you know, do all these different things. It is more of a Christmas set, but you don't have to, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Like, these guys are pretty plain. This one, those aren't especially Christmassy. Even this one has, like, little tiny stars that are really cute. It's just swirls. So this one does have, like, little bells. That one has, like, snowflakes in it. And then these cute little, like, uh, ugly sweater intarsia-looking things, which is adorable. And look at this one with the little deer. Oh, my gosh. That is so cute. Oh, and this one has the Merry uh, Christmas or Happy New Year kind of words that are going to be pushed into the paper and not cut out of the paper, which is really cool. I like that. Um, and there's ton. Each one of these things has something to cut in, something that makes, like, dots. Every single one has another a different frame around it that you can use. So lots going on here. But I'm going to take the main die. I'm trying to see why you would use these little guys. These are super cute, but I guess they can work in these in the squares. You know what I'm saying? Because why? I don't know. These little, these are so cute. Um, let me think about what I want to do. I need to grab some paper, like, for the base layer. Uh, this will not go into a Gemini Junior. It will definitely go into an Empress or a larger machine. A uh, big shot, like the big, big one. Uh, what's it called? The bigger one than the big shot. Because <laughs> as you can see, of the width, but I can measure it for you. All, either way, if you already have this, I mean, it's seven and a half inches wide. Or one direction. It's almost a seven and a half inch square. It's a little bit longer this way than this way. So seven and a half inches here, almost seven three quarter here. So I will cut this on the Empress. Um, obviously the other pieces are small. You can cut it with something else, but this main one is a little bit bigger. Um, let me grab some papers and then we'll we'll do a little something. So I just reached over to see what I have, and I have a bunch of um, Centura pearl paper, which I think would be really pretty. And then I was like, well, it's kind of like this one with the. But this one has craft paper, white and blue. But I'm just going to go with white and blue in two layers. So the base layer being cut out of this. And then blue accents is what I'll do. So let me move this to the side here. Um, let me see if this thing is fired up. Ooh, where are my plates? Oh, they're over there. <laughs> like, where are my plates for this little lady? Okay, I have a bunch of stuff sitting here in front of this machine. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just trim this down. You really don't have to in the Empress because you can just run the whole piece of paper through. 
just the way it is. I will put a little bit of tape. And thank you guys for commenting as far as, um, from a lot of you guys I hear, I was asking about the Spellbinders machines and then um, people were, yeah, I was, what I was remembering about my Cuddlebug is that towards the end, not towards the end, I still have it, so, you know. But they don't make the plates for Cuddlebug anymore, so basically it's obsolete, right? And, um, let me see what, something really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna run this through twice. Again, just because, of course, uh, I don't wanna bust out my larger plates. And you guys are probably thinking, she probably doesn't even have them. I do have them, I just don't use them. I'm like, I, I don't know why I rather just use these guys. So hopefully you can see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run it through the width and as much as I can. So anyway, um, the cuddle bug wasn't cutting as well anymore with like really intricate dies. And what I remember the, the Spellbinder when they came out with their machines or with Spellbinder the company is that, you know, they have really fine, delicate dies that those, that their machine's supposed to do really well. And so you guys gave me your input of what you think about your machine if you have that. Okay, so what I'm doing since I'm running it through twice and you can do very similar things with the uh, marquee, well not with this size, but if you had something that was a little bit longer. So pretty much everything got cut and then you see I taped it really well, but this little tip that hung off. So what I always like to do is run it back through, but not too much. I don't like to double it over too much more. So I will put that there. And you can kind of see how much of it you're gonna do again. I'll just put like that much. I don't really like overlapping it too much. And run it through to catch the rest of that part. And then I'll do the same thing with the second sheet of paper. So we have two of those. It's basically a partial die cutting. See? And that's pretty good. The um, embossing marks are really, really well etched in here, so that's good. And what I mean by that is the score lines. All these score lines are really, really well etched in there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out the second one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished up the second one. I'm just gonna put these to the side for now. Cause I normally would just uh, build this up and move along, you know, just to show you the base, but I will cut out some of the little decorative pieces. So let's get this back over here and take this off. And how was this in here like this? So cute. Um, so on the top, if you look at the picture, the top four pieces are gonna be showing and then you have the bottom four. So I'm thinking I'll probably just decorate this top part and leave the bottom kind of bare. So we need four of the squares and four of the triangles if you wanna fill in that triangle area too. So let me see here. This is so cute. There's tons of triangles like this. I mean, a lot that you can pile up on top of each other or cut in. Um, trying to see which ones of these I wanna to put together. This is kinda of cute, very typical of Christmas. Maybe what I'll do is this guy. I'm gonna cut out four of these. And let's do the snowflake one just to make it more festive. And what I'll probably do with these is I'll just cut them out on the marquee here. We don't need a lot of paper, but I'm just gonna cut this down. And I'll run through two pieces at a time. Like one piece of paper, but two of the squares at a time. You can cut these right into this box if you want to make it more lacy and more kind of sweet. You can cut them right in there, the um, inner part. However you want to play this. Put that there. I'm not sure why I'm trying to save that last piece of... <laughs> there's not really enough room to put anything else there. And this guy. And I'll run this through the marquee. And then... Actually, let me move that down a little bit. And I'll just need four of each, like I said. But let's try this real quick. I hope you guys are all doing well today. 
I finally came in here like it's um, almost 11 o'clock I guess and it wasn't hot in my craft room so that's why I know I guess fall weather is coming through here finally <laughs> oh my gosh it was so hot look at that really pretty and then I'm doing the second one here and again if I just did the middle section it will only cut into my paper the reason it cut out is because we use that outer die too if you're very new to uh, die cutting that's how that works Okay, so I'm going to cut out um, three of each, three more of each, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all my pieces here. I'll bring these guys back. Um, I guess I'll stick them down first. So these are obviously facing up just like this. And so what I'm going to do is, on these bigger ones, just go ahead and use my um, deluxe adhesive here. Because they're kind of larger, I can kind of do this pretty easily. Um... Centura Pro will warp just like any other paper, so you don't want to drench it in this stuff, but just kind of get that on there. And you can decide which way you want this swirls to go. And if you want a different color behind this, all you have to do is cut out the outer frame from a different color without this inner part. And then you'll have another color you can mat between your colors, but I'm just going with the blue and the white. And if I mentioned before, if you watched the video earlier, because I just wanted to say hi and tell you guys about some sales. Um, these are basically the same, right? Yeah. The um, craft kit number 36 is back in stock for uh, purchase. You know, so what Tonic does is they have their sub kit. You can buy it one off, just buy it you know, and have the one kit show up or you can sign up, which obviously saves money and then saves more money if you, and shipping and the cost of the box if you want to do a quarterly subscription. And so they charge every three months and they send them out every month, right? And um, the monthly one had sold out, but it's back in stock. And I can show you real quick that one, just so if you're curious, if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna do one more video though, making a card out of the same thing, but this is basically what the craft kit does. It makes a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous box. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And then I made it into a shaker just for fun. But um, I'll have the link to that video too there in the description box. Those papers, that fiery red, oh my gosh, so pretty. Let's see here. And I'm sorry that when they sent the things to me, I wasn't sure <laughs> How much paper you get in the box most people say you usually get one of each sheet they sent a pack of each one and then you know the description says a sumptuous amount of paper so i'm like and so somebody said well maybe they are sending more than one sheet this time i don't know so i'm very sorry i don't have that information oh yeah let's see here and this last one normally i don't sit here and do this every single one i don't know why i guess we're chatting so okay there's that one and then the other one we are going to put in these triangle spots here. So this one is a little bit smaller. Um, again, you can put the glue on the back of your hand and pat, pat, pat. But I'm just going to really try to get on the very edge and a little bit on these little curly cues as I can. But I'm not going to fuss too much out of that. And I'm going to put them in each corner. Corner. Triangle. <laughs> it's not really a corner. So I'll do the same thing for the other right here. Right here and right here, okay? And I'll be right back. So nice about that glue is it holds on so fast. Okay, so now we're gonna want to train this, as I say. So I'm trying to think how I train it first if I wanna do this way, just cause that's a nice long. And if you wanna bone fold it, you know, you wanna make sure everything's dry and ready to do that with. And just be careful if you did decorate both sides, the top and the bottom here. But I'm just going to fold them. I'll do the same thing with the other guy. Fold, fold, fold. And then let me think. Now these are going to go in, so I'm going to go ahead and fold those. This Centura Pearl is cracking really bad, so I eh, don't care for that, but that's all right. All right, we're going to turn this in. Okay, and then these guys, once we get there, they're gonna fold like in on themselves. So if you wanna do that right now, just to get it a little bit trained up, then I would do that. As you can see, they're gonna do something like this. So down here too. So I'm just gonna try to fold them on those lines while we're here. 
And I'll do the same thing, oopsie, with the other one, okay? And okay. I'll be right back. So I do have some of these glues I picked up recently from uh, Tonic, and I wanted to try their glues, adhesives, I guess, in a way. So I'm gonna use this red liner type for some of this. I don't know if I'm using it for everything, but even for this bottom part, I normally would um, stick this together with glue. Just because I like boxes stuck together with glue, I feel like they hold longer. But let's try some of this red line tape. And we'll see how it goes. Where is the beginning? Here we go. Oh, it's nice and thick. Okay, I already messed up that piece. <laughs> so it has a nice little red coating. And when I picked it off, I kind of separated it from the coating. This one's a thin one, but they do have thicker tapes. But actually, this is perfect for this project. It's, it's kind of thin here. So I'm going to... Put that tape there, and put this one here. So this kind of thing, I really like to stick it down. So I'm using my nails to kind of burnish that and then pick off that red cover. And if you're lucky, you get a little static cling to yourself and it sticks to your finger. <laughs> There we go. We're going to bring it over the other side. And just... Before I really push down, I want to make sure I'm where I want that to be. Nice. And then we're going to do the same thing on this tab. I'm going to place uh, some of the red line tape, take the backing off, and I'll grab it. So I have the glue on there. What we're going to do is just turn this over. I'm going to lay this kind of flat, I guess. Well, so hopefully you can see it. Just bending it kind of in half so I can see this and get that on there. Again, I don't push down until I'm happy with where I'm at. And that would be like right here. Look at that. And it looks odd, right? <laughs> kind of crazy. Okay. So then we have to stick these guys together, but at the same time, these guys are going to fold in on themselves. So we're going to go across and then bring these two together, okay? But um, I probably should just put the tape on there first. You know what? I'm going to go with glue. Like I said, well, see, this was tough because I'm going to have to hold on to it for this time being, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm putting quite a bit just because I'm using a wet glue. And I'm going to bring this guy across to him, okay? And I'm gonna make sure it's squared up real nice, and I'm gonna hold on to it, which is nice because you have a big opening, so you can do that pretty easily. So I'm gonna hold on to this till it sticks, and I'll be right back. All right, so that's stuck down pretty good. So on this one, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put some glue down here, just because I like to keep everything. You don't have to do that. This guy's gonna come in over here. <laughs> Hopefully you can see, and this guy's also gonna come in on the other side and glue himself down. So that's why if you use a red liner tape or something like that, it's going to do this faster. But hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm pushing in. I'm going to push this one in. And just make sure it's lined up really nice. There. And as I hold that, I'm going to turn it over. So this is a little bit different. Oh, look how pretty it looks on the inside. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect that. <laughs> so pretty. I tell you, that's what Tonic does. Just those structural, really pretty things. So I'm gonna hold this down um, until I feel like it's stuck down really well. And this stuff glue, uh, this stuff glues, this stuff dries pretty fast, so it sets up pretty fast. So I'll be right back. I was kind of just messing with this and just trying to keep it down. But that's basically it, you guys. Um, oh, and then also, um, I know Tonic has their own machine. <laughs> Somebody said it's kind of a Caltrans orange. It's called. Um, Tangerine. It's really cute, but it's out of stock for a long time. So hopefully I'll be able to maybe get grab one of those too. But anyhow, so we have this and look how pretty. Oh, now I'm like, I should decorate all the panels. But anyway, so now that we've already pushed in that top, basically this is going to push in too. So we're going to push these in, get these two guys together. Right. And I think, well, I don't know, but let's get this guy over here. I'm trying to see if I need to actually score those marks where this one comes up, but I can't tell yet. So, and then this guy goes over here. So as far as putting it together, guys, that's it. Those two, those little tabs, right? On the sides that we stick it together to make one long strip and then stick it together to make the shape. 
and then just boom this bottom part right glue how cute is that oh my gosh can you appreciate how pretty this is now of course you can dress it up more we obviously have lots of layers we can play with even with the little um triangle area all these little fun things i was trying to look at this intarsia one it's really cute because if you cut let's say a basic square or like even this one with the little dots that pokes into it this just this piece um then you cut this guy out and then you layer them on top of each other it'd be really cute or just these guys in scripts right around the edges i think that's probably more what it's about so cute anyway thanks for watching guys i hope that helped out um i think it was pretty straightforward i mean yeah, <laughs> it was very easy to kind of put together. I guess the part that you would have to kind of take a leap is knowing to stick these guys opposite, but I think you'd figure that out because how, how, how else would you put it together, right? Um, I think there's also a way to just make a square box out of this, and I totally forgot to mention that while I was cutting them out. So um, what you would do is you have the two, and then you're going to have to layer some of them up because basically you just need the two tops. <laughs> but not like so many sides, you know what I'm saying? So you might have to do something to cut it down and stick that together, but maybe that'll be a different video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that was um, informational, instructional, and that you try out your little box that you have from your mystery bag. So oh, cute. Real quick, guys, I was right. packing up and doing all that. I didn't really mention how big this is. So, I mean, obviously, if you have it at home, you're going to figure that out yourself. But we have two, four, it's like four and a half inches wide. And I would say the depth is about three inches. It's hard to tell because, like, if you're up here, let me see, one, two, eh, three and a half inches deep. But, again, those little corners kind of come in, so um, it's going to cut into kind of what you're going to fit in there. But those are the dimensions just about. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.